Hello and welcome to Genuine. Um, I thought today I could make a just a casual video of me just doing my makeup and just talking about my um, autism diagnosis. I know, who would have thought? I'm so good at hiding it. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I'm new to this so I'm going to try and relax and yeah, get used to talking um, to the camera really. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I was um, diagnosed with autism a few months ago. Um, all my sort of juicy symptoms started to come out um, when I hit adulthood, really. So no longer could hide it, really. Always kind of knew, but um, I think with girls, well, women in general, we seem to be quite good at hiding it. I mean, I'm not sure I was actually that good at hiding it. But, I mean, I'm 27 next month and to be honest, getting a diagnosis this early is a blessing. It's been a bit of a journey since then, but it's good to know, almost it gives you kind of that closure because you know how you act or you know the way you are because of this. I just use this by the way, I find it's quite gentle my skin. But yeah, so I couldn't really hide it when I reached adulthood. Like I said, all those lovely symptoms started to come out. Um, when I was 18 and um, I, you know, I found it harder to mask and fit in. Um, I knew I was different. I wasn't sure how, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are the same with. Um, I see like a lot of um, ADHD girlies out there and um, and it, it is wonderful. And some of you have that beautiful crossover of ADHD and autism. Um, as far as I know, I'm just autistic, uh, but it'd be nice to kind of know some more autistic women out there, because I don't really see many videos on those. Um, I mean, to be honest, a lot of our um, symptoms are very similar, to be fair. But I'm not an expert, I'm just going with my experience, but... Um, but yeah, sorry, um, my sister was showing me something in the garden <laughs> and I, drama, um, so it's funny, as soon as I turn the camera on, I forget how to actually do my makeup, um, almost kind of freeze a little bit, right, let's see. Now, I did buy this. It's Revolution Makeup Revolution London. <laughs> yes, because that's how it's said. Um, and it's like a soap thing, like a wax soap thing for your eyebrows. So what I do, I just brush them out like this. I mean, I've got quite fine out eyebrows because all those years ago when everyone was plucking them out. That's what I did too. But I was a bit of a sheep. I like, it's breaking already. <laughs> that was me the other day trying to hold it together. <laughs> right. Can't remember what I was saying. Oh, look at that, nice. It's just coming off. It's just falling off. It's fine. Yeah, so um, I can't even remember what I was saying now. But anyway, I'm just using this for my eyebrows. I mean, it's quite nice. Um, I haven't used this sort of thing before. But I think it just helps your eyebrows a bit more fluffy. Because like I said, um, years ago I 
pluck them to pieces really might as well not have had eyebrows um so now i've got to pretend that they're really fluffy and full so hopefully a thin eyebrow trend won't come back and then i kind of uh, grab this it's Rumel London I mean all the stuff I use is from Boots or Superdrug it's like a little brown micro thing and I just fill in all those little blank islands in my face I mean I'm doing this through the camera so who knows what this will look like at the end too bad. I mean, I'm really not a makeup artist, but I quite like this. I feel like for me, there's so many lovely expensive brands out there, but I think because I'm quite new to experimenting with makeup, I don't want to pay a lot of money because I mean I don't know if it's just my autism or it's just the way I am but I don't like spending money <laughs> and my parents say this you know I, I save and save but I forget to treat myself a bit better at it now but I mean I've got some big changes coming up because I'm moving out um, not all at once, but I'm moving out and getting married. I know, I've decided to do all the big changes in life all at once, as you do. But that's what works for me. So, actually, using the camera has kind of worked a bit better for me. I can kind of uh, see what I'm doing. So I'm kind of going to brush that out again, really. Make it look like these are actually my eyebrows. I know, fooled everyone. Let me just put this in here. I mean, to be honest, when I have conversations, I flip around like a butterfly. So I hope you've all been able to catch up so far. And I do mumble, so I apologise, but. That's just me and I'm trying to be genuine. I like the channel's name. Okay, so, oh, just, just something flew off my bed. I seem to throw everything on my bed. Luckily, you can't see that right now. I also get really red here. Like, my skin's quite reactive, so whenever I touch it, it kind of just goes like that. Um, I've got this Maybelline eraser in 03. I mean, to be honest, I pick whatever colour I think will work. It's probably not even the right colour. And then I kind of just do this under my eyes. Nothing professional about it. Just how I roll, really. <laughs> like this. Uh, I know I'm hilarious. Um, yeah, so do this. I think sometimes when I make these videos, I overthink it too much, like everything else in my life. I, th I forget, like, how do I act as a human being? <laughs> but I'm sure as time goes on, I'll get used to it. Um, yeah, so I think I won't do too much there. I'm just going to keep it natural. Most of my makeup's fairly natural anyway. Um, But yeah, I'd love to know if anyone else is autistic out there. I can get to know you all. Because, you know, there's a lot of lovely ADHD videos, but I mean, I might have that as well, to be honest. But it's nice to um, hear from the autism community as well. So I'm just using this powder. I mean, you can't even see where it comes from. Um, can't even tell you. I don't know. Probably looks familiar to you. I think it is Rimmel. I seem to have a lot of Rimmel 
Rimmel brands. <laughs> I like to just powder this all on, so I don't have any setting spray. I use it literally to set my whole face. <laughs> Everyone's like, you're so pale. That's why, Jennifer, because you are padding your face with uh, this. <laughs> Okay, so I've uh, patted down my face a million times and now I'm going to use the Natural Bronzer by Rimmel. I mean, it is so natural you can't even see it, to be honest. But I don't want to waste money and I'm going to use it. Does anyone, yeah. Does anyone else pull a funny face when they do this? Because I do. It's like when I do my makeup, I just pull these funny faces. But I think it helps you put the makeup on better, so it's like our instinct, you know? Quite freckly this time of year because um, the, well, the sun comes out, obviously. But, yeah. So now I've got this Max, Max, I, I'm dyslexic too, didn't, <laughs> probably didn't even know, um, Maxi Blush. I mean, I'm very visual, so if it looks pretty, I'll get it. But yeah, I'd like to say that I've got a mixture of specials, to be honest, which make me me. I find blush quite difficult because I go a bit heavy on it and then I rub it all away. Might as well not use it, to be honest. Um, but yeah. I thought it was a good idea to let my hair dry naturally uh, yesterday. I thought it would be cute. It really isn't because I look like a poodle when I let that happen. Um, I've got the weirdest hair texture, I'd say. I mean, it's very fluffy and wavy. It's not that cute curly, it's not cute wavy, it's that in between. It's quite wiry and coarse. Um, I mean, some people have beautiful hair like that. Not me. You might think otherwise, but if you're living with it, you'll understand. Um, so I'm now going to use Return of the Jedi. I know it's got space on it um, and it's makeup and you can't really go wrong. And it said it, it's like a brand called Rude. I don't really know why this is Rude. Um, it's probably my autism coming out, but yes, makeup with an attitude. <laughs> Got such an attitude all the time. <laughs> Not. I mean, the mo my my two main emotions are crying or smiling. So that's me. Um, I don't know what to use really. I mean, to be fair, I'm not really going out anywhere. I'm just having fun. Um, I do like the blue on here, which weirdly kind of complements my skin tone and face. <laughs> I'm talking like a professional here. Like, oh, it complements my skin tone and face. Um, let's see, I think I'll go with the blue, <laughs> I know, who would have guessed? So what I do, I like to use this brush for everything, I know it's got every colour known to man on it, it's very unhygienic of me, but I kind of like to brush off the excess powder and use it anyway, so I just have a multicoloured eyelid. Um, yeah, so this channel's not aesthetically pleasing in any way. But, who knows, maybe in the future I will be an expert at camera angles and everything else. It's funny because you think all these things in your head of how you're going to make this make the video, but it comes out completely different. Like, what's that about? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use the glittery blue. And pop it on my face. Instant regret. Instant regret. But let's just carry on. Just like we do. Keep calm and carry on. But do we ever actually keep calm? No. We don't. Oh, I don't anyway. Kind of works. Right here. Whenever I use eyeshadow, I kind of feel like a four-year-old using like a Barbie palette. 
the first time, I don't know why. I think I'm kind of in this blue era. It's probably quite bizarre, but I'm very much a pink girl, so I feel like I'm betraying myself. You can probably tell that I'm relaxing even more as this video goes on. So anyone who's tuned in and stayed, thank you very much. I literally cannot see what I'm doing. I just think it's really cute, this. I'm not sure why, I mean, <laughs> for some reason, one side looks blue and one side looks green. Beautiful. that's that's good I mean you might find it weird that I'm not even looking you guys in the eyes very much um but to be honest I don't really do that in real life so this is the real me uh let's grab I'll grab my mascara I've got it in my hand anyway and this uh, it's got that lovely um label on it protection label even though most of the products I know have been opened and used which freaks me out I don't it's probably my autism but um or just me, I need to stop saying that, it's just me. But when I'm like, get makeup products, if it's not sealed or covered, I just, I'm not going there. I just won't, because I come up with all these scenarios in my head of what I might catch. So this is um, Maybelline Lash, Lash, Sensational, um, full fan effect, I know. I'm their biggest fan. So yeah, I'm gonna, Try and put this on my face without poking my eye. I know you didn't think you'd get this close up today. But trust me, it's more uncomfortable for me than it is for you. I can guarantee that. Okay. Must pretend I have long lashes and that I sleep really well at night. See, it just brings it together, because otherwise it'd look a bit, I look like an alien, an alien, can't speak properly. Really just brighten it all up, really. I woke up like this. Does anyone else, like, um, just replay old memes and old videos? Some of you might not even know what that is. Certainly don't wake up like this. Thank you for the creation of makeup. Although, I don't know if I'm there yet, but it took me a long time to be comfortable without it. We're all on a journey. Okay. Right. Actually, because I'm very much a perfectionist, I'm just gonna go over this brow a bit because it's kind of drooping down. And the fakery continues. <laughs> Let's narrate my life. My life. Where's that even from? I was just laughing at my own jokes in my head then. Right, and there we go. You know what's weird? Like, as a child, I was really, really tidy. But now as an adult, I'm like so messy. Honestly, some of those people of those hoarding programs need to come over to my house. Not, well, it's not my house. I still live with my family. But I tell you what, when I move out, it's going to be a maze to get to my bed. Okay, so I'm just going to put, uh, I'm going to put, I've already got them in. I've got my earrings in. And yeah, I think it kind of works with this look. Um, yeah, and that's me done. And hope you enjoyed the chat. And yeah, see you soon.